Hello, happy Christmas. May the joy of the season fill the homes and hearts of all our viewers around the world. I'm Rudy McLennan coming to you from Glasgow, Scotland, and you are watching Shalom World News' special bulletin that brings you the good tidings of the season. For Christians in Iraq, this is the first Christmas since the historic visit of the Holy Father, Pope Francis. In more ways than one, the community there is experiencing a rebirth thanks to the visit of the Vicar of Christ to one of the cradles of Christianity. Winds of change began to blow after the apostolic visit was officially confirmed. The first visible change was the declaration of Christmas as a national holiday last year by the government. Christmas celebrations this year had more vibrancy than in previous years when believers came together to worship in newly rebuilt churches that were destroyed during the Islamic State occupation. They include the Immaculate Conception Church in Karakosh and the Al Tahera Church in Mosul that was formerly used as a military base. When the Holy Father was welcomed in the Immaculate Conception Church during his visit in March, the focus was on a 13-foot statue of Our Lady on the church tower donated by the Knights of Columbus. For believers in Karamlesh, this Christmas is particularly special. Many took part in celebrations in the presence of a restored statue of the Virgin that was destroyed by IS militants. The restored statue still has its hands missing. In Mosul, bells that were restored to the Church of Mar Toma and Our Lady of the Hour Church once again rang joyfully during the Christmas ceremony, much to the joy of worshippers. The bells of those churches were destroyed when the rebels took over. This Christmas has given renewed joy and hope to Christians who have returned to Iraq after being promised the return of their stolen homes and properties by Shiite leader Muqtada al-Sadr. So far, 80 properties and homes have been returned to Christians who had fled the region during the Islamic State occupation. For Christians in Erbil in Iraqi Kurdistan, this is their first Christmas after the local government named the suburb of Ankawa as a Christian district with its own administration. The visit of His Holiness has also spurred a spiritual renewal among Catholic communities. On June the 6th, Chaldean Auxiliary Bishop Basil Yaldo of Baghdad gave First Communion to 210 boys and girls in the Iraqi capital. Earlier this month, the Chaldean Church hosted its first youth meeting after the period of conflict, highlighting the importance of the role of the youth in ensuring the presence of Christianity in Iraq. The Church welcomed 450 young men and women from across the nation for prayer, catechesis, sharing and empowerment. This year, a few cribs have grabbed headlines for their uniqueness. A Christmas creche set up in the Spanish city of Alicante has made it to the Guinness Book of World Records for being the tallest nativity scene set up so far. The figure of St. Joseph is a whopping 18.10 metres high, while the statue of the Virgin is 10.58 metres in height, with the figure of the baby Jesus measuring 3.32 metres in height. In Venice in Italy, visitors are flocking to see a nativity scene floating on the lagoon near the island of Burano. The figures of the Holy Infant, Our Lady and St. Joseph were fixed on wooden stakes and then firmly moored to the bed of the lagoon. Meanwhile in the Vatican, around 126 eye-catching cribs are on display. Among them is a nativity scene crafted from chocolate. Weighing 100 kilos, the unique set was made by Trappist monks of Rome who specialise in chocolate products. Also in Rome is a nativity scene made of more than 260,000 matchsticks made by a Polish national. In the Spanish Canary island of La Palma, still reeling from a volcanic eruption, a Catholic priest and a volcanologist have joined forces to include a representation of the Cumbre Vieja volcano in a nativity scene by crafting it with volcanic ash ash and hardened lava. While nativity scenes are an integral element of Christmas, not many know that it was St. Francis of Assisi who created the first crib in 1223 in the Italian town of Greccio. Instead of figurines, he used real people and animals in the depiction of the nativity. Now, in Assisi, where the mortal remains of the saint are interred, all major churches, including the Basilica of St. Francis, are drawing visitors for the spectacular visual projections of religious paintings done by 14th century Italian painter Giotto on their facades. Classical depictions of the nativity and scenes from the life of Christ are projected onto the major churches, including the Cathedral of St. Rufino and the Basilica of St. Clare. The Basilica of St. Francis also has a Christmas creche gifted to the Holy Father in 2019 by the Pare di Conegliano Artistic Creche Group, and it has more than 100 life-size handcrafted figurines. 
The team behind The Chosen has created history once again. Within 12 hours of the December the 1st release of their Christmas special episode named Christmas with The Chosen, The Messengers, tickets amounting to an intake of $1.5 million were sold across the United States. The special episode was released in 1,500 theatres and it ran for 10 days. The episode depicts the journey of St. Joseph and Our Lady to Bethlehem and the Nativity of Our Lord. With the help of crowdfunding alone, the production team was able to make The Chosen the most popular biblical TV series in the world. Millions across the globe have been brought closer to Christ by watching its episodes on YouTube and the official app of the series. What makes it all the more special is the fact that both Catholics and Protestants are actively collaborating on the big budget project. This Christmas, Shalom Worlds Beyond the Vision brings you an exclusive interview with three key individuals associated with The Chosen. They are executive producer Dallas Jenkins, actor Jonathan Rumi who plays the role of Jesus, and musician Phil Wickman. Stay tuned to Shalom World every Monday at 8pm, that is in Eastern Time, Greenwich Mean Time, and Australian Eastern Daylight Time, in order to watch The Chosen Season 1. Christmas is the season of sharing, and this year several Christian outfits organised various charity initiatives to reach out to the poor, the marginalised and the persecuted. Hundreds of thousands of children in Poland belonging to the pontifical missionary work of children are taking part in the annual Missionary Carolers campaign to help children as well as adults in Central Asia. The day after Christmas, the children will go to their respective parish churches to sing carols, and they will also speak about the needs of children in different parts of the world. The funds thus collected will be used to finance several projects that take care of differently abled children in Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan and Uzbekistan. Meanwhile, in Britain, believers donated generously for the Love Christmas campaign that distributed hundreds of thousands of food boxes to the poor during Advent. The annual initiative had the blessings of the Catholic bishops. On the other hand, in Spain, the local arm of the Pontifical Aid Organisation Aid to the Church in Need collected funds for their Christmas 2021 campaign to help priests, religious and catechists in conflict-torn areas. Under the initiative entitled Let There Be Room in Your Inn, believers from all dioceses came forward to donate to this cause to sustain the missionaries in crisis-hit countries. As we celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, let us contemplate the fact that the Son of God, who is the light of the world, is not just for Christians alone. His divine radiance shows the way to salvation for one and all, transcending all man-made barriers. But sadly, billions of people around the world have not heard of Jesus and his good news. This Christmas, when we gather around the manger, let our thoughts go to those souls who are yet to hear about the Redeemer. May the light of divine providence shine upon them and illuminate their way to the Lord, just like how the star showed the three magi the path to the Holy Infant, so that they too may be saved. Shalom World News once again wishes all its viewers a blessed Christmas. Thank you.